George Balanchine said, I don't want dancers that love to dance. I want dancers that need to dance. Balanchine was one of the most important people in the ballet world ever. When Balanchine came to America, there was no real ballet training. Balanchine not only started a company, he changed the whole look of ballet. He was inventing movement that was so new. He was experimenting. This is like some kind of mad scientist. It's like I was a pupil of Einstein. Sometimes it was so strange and what he was asking you to do. <laughs> it took you a while to figure it out. And then again, he'd say, your hands like baby. Like baby. He talked to me about eagles, soccer players. Scraping the bowl with your foot. In any other ballet class, eight of something, that's a lot of repetitions. Balanchine often gave 32, 64. Faster. And faster. Faster, 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 faster. Oh, no way. <laughs> I remember thinking I was going to throw up, but he was trying to find out what our limits were. <gasps> you think I am going to fall down and die? And he would say, dear, what are you saving it for? The way he taught, the way he choreographed. I can't imagine not passing on what I know. Do it fast. You have to push. As teachers, as much as we try, we're not balancing. Bigger. Hot. More delicate. But we devote ourselves to it. We have an obligation. I went from questioning to believing to being a disciple. <laughs>